Hi everybody, it's Nikki. I very often get asked about how to digitally manipulate some of the images on our CDs without actually using a graphics program. So I thought I would do this really quick little video just with some basic things that you can do that most of you can do at home without actually having any extra software on your computers. So I'm just going to use our Angel Berry Christmas. So you just click enter to go into the actual CD. And this is going to be a bit slow because I'm using some software to record as well as running Word as well as running the CD. So if we just go in here, let's go into Covered Stamps and actually have a look at, at some of these. So on our CD, basically the image you see, you're just basically going to print it off or you just, and you just click it and it will open. So it will open in your default program in Windows um, if you're using a PC. And basically this is a documental Windows photo viewer. Now to print that image, because a lot of the questions I get asked are how you can print more than one image on a page. So if I just click on that, it opens a pinprint and automatically will select your printer and leave it on that one there. And then down this side, you probably get a stick in the seat showing this, but so many people don't understand it and don't, don't get it. Um, down this side, it will actually show you in Windows how you can um, print this image. So if I click there, the fact that there's two images there will, is showing that I can print two to a page. So it's automatically resized that. Again, if I go to there, look, it's going to actually print that one on a page. Now you can see here it's cut off part of this image. What you need to do is unclick that. So where it says fit picture to frame, unclick it and then it won't be cut off. So that's now resized it and it's fitting it to the page. So I can now go down to, in effect, this is an A4 sheet. So if I click 2, it's going to make that fit onto an A5. If I click here where there are 4, it's going to make it about an A6 size, which generally I find is about the right size of image. And if you don't want to waste paper, you can actually increase the number of copies you get onto a sheet. So we could print 3 on there if we wanted to. Okay, so that's really easy. So that's one way to digitally manipulate what you're going to do. Now the other way is because this is opened up and it's a PNG, that means a PNG basically is just an image with a transparent background. So if I actually right click on there and copy, I can now copy that image and I'm just going to take it into Word. So everybody, most people have Word in some form or other, whether it's Microsoft Works or something like that, or another type of word processing package on your computer. Now, this is just a Word document. If you want to see the whole thing, go up into View and go to One Page, because you might have half the page not visible. So if you click on it, these bits here, I can manipulate that like this. So if you drag a corner, um, basically you can actually resize it. Okay, so you can make that smaller if you want to. Now if you want to move it around, you can see it's not moving. It's really easy to change that. It, you can either um, right click and go to wrap text. And then the feature that I prefer is to do behind text. And what that means is now I can actually move that around the page. Okay, so you can actually do all sorts of different things, even just having you know, these bits here. Now with our images you can re resize them up and down and you won't actually lose any of the quality okay? unless you've saved it um, and if you save it as a small size and then try and make it a big size it won't work. But This is just the plain old PNG image so it's going to basically work and not lose any quality. Now what you can do, say for instance you wanted to make a little top here um, if we go to insert in our word thing and actually find the text box and click that, basically just click the simple text box and it will come up here with what you can type in. So let's say you want to put someone's name on it. So we're going to put the text box. Now you can see here, if you actually select, see where my cursor is pointing on the line around it, I can then drag it wherever I want it to go. So let's say we wanted it here. Now dragging that is just going to make the text box bigger, not 
not the actual text itself. So select the text and then go back and you can make this text bigger then. Okay. Again, if we actually move these arrows here, we can make the text box smaller. And obviously I want to get rid of this border. So what you have to remember is anything you want to change, you need to reformat it. So you need to kind of like right click on it and it'll actually, it should come up with options to change it. Now, um, up here, you can see we've got drawing tools and that's highlighted here. So if you actually click onto there, you've got all the text box drawing tab tools here. So let's find where we are. Text box, and find where it is now. We have draw text box there, shape outline. We say we want no outline. Now look, it's got rid of the text box outline. I can still move this around. So say for instance, I mean it's not going to work. Say for instance, we wanted to actually make it look like she's actually holding a banner. It says Nikki on it. We can actually hide that piece box, or the, the little piece thing. It's not going to work brilliantly. Let me just make that slightly smaller. I've got too much time on my video, so... And again, you can format your text look so you can center it. Now, if we wanted to, if you actually put, see, we can um, actually rotate this if we want to. Where's my rotate button? See, so there it is at the top. Look, if you just rotate that, look, we can make it look like she's holding that. Maybe slightly away. And so you see how you can start to actually change things very quickly. So if we go back to that text box and if we actually do that look now it looks like she's actually holding the box so you've kind of made a go from holding the word peace up to holding an actual text box and let's just move that up slightly if you want to change something just if you want to move something slightly use your up and down and your right and left arrows now I'm going to run out of time on my video so I'm going to do that for now and I'll bring you some more videos of other things you can do really soon. Hope you found this useful. See you soon. Bye.